Hey, what's up? It's Fuel Your Life Friday. Let's go. Ah, the new moon. Today, October 16th, is a new moon. The new moon is all about new beginnings. It's important to know that new moons, for the most part, carry the same energy. The vibration of that energy may alter a little bit depending on A, what else is happening planetary alignment-wise in the sky, and B, what sign it's in, such as Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, etc. I'm sure there's also probably a C and a D to add, but I'm not an astrologer, so I'm just going to drop the knowledge that I know. Now, in episode 94, I outlined my new moon routine, which includes setting intentions. But I did something new to me, I don't know, maybe two new moons ago in August, and I wanted to share that with you for today's new moon in case you want to adapt it into your practice as well. Because the new moon embodies the energy of new beginnings, it's a great time to set intentions. So what I did was I created a secret Pinterest board, which means only I can see it. And I labeled it New Moon and Leo. If you're starting one today, the moon is in the sign of Libra. Now, since I was doing this in the new moon of Leo, and the Leo sign really helps you envision and dream like a royal, I set the intentions to pin what I want, which a new home is key for me right now. But I allowed a lot of freedom in pinning images that just called to me or I was drawn to, even if they didn't make sense in my conscious mind right then and there. For an example, mine included a lot of home photos and nature photos of the mountains and starry nights and campfires. It was very cozy and warm feeling, but mind you, I currently live in Florida. (laughs) This is the complete opposite of my current life. I had planned to relook at my vision board six months from that day to see what had really manifested. And six months is specific because that's when a new moon's energy closes out at the full moon in that sign. When, it, when we get to, let's say, the full moon in Leo, that's when that energy cycle is, is starting to close out. But my mentor suggested that I turn it into a collage and I put it as my lock screen um, on the background of my phone. Now, I'm a very insanely particular person when it comes to visuals. And a collage on a lock screen or on my phone's background is just not for me. So I chose to make it my computer's background instead. The purpose of this is so that I can see it every day and it can be absorbed into my subconscious where a lot of our patterns and programming lie. Therefore, what you desire is what you see. And since you're seeing it, you're more likely to manifest it. I will forever be one of those people who says, do what aligns most and works best for you. That may mean you need to sit down, cut out pictures from a magazine, and have the actual physical process of a physical vision board that you can look at daily in your room or your office. And that's okay. Follow your intuition at every step of the process. With this new moon in Libra, you may want to focus on some more Libra-type themes, which Libra highlights the themes such as partnerships and relationships, harmony, beauty, and art. You're, again, not limited to those themes. Since the new moon is about new beginnings, your vision board should be full of the desires that you want to manifest over the next 6 to 18 months and beyond. It's really cool to look back onto these vision boards and see exactly what manifested. There's a lot of cool stories about manifesting and vision boards out there. Maybe we'll cover some in another episode. But let me know how your vision board goes and which method you choose. I'm everywhere on social media at MindBizLife. If you enjoyed this episode, share it with a friend and be sure to give the podcast a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or wherever it is that you tune in and turn it up. That's all for today. I'll see you back here next week. But until then, remember, every level of life is an opportunity to grow. Be well, my friend.